Right now, I'm going to show you five Photoshop tips for working with photographs that you probably don't know. Hey, Cafe Crew, it's Colin Smith here from PhotoshopCafe.com. And today we're going to be looking at five tips for working with our photos in Photoshop. And this episode has been sponsored by PPA, which is the Professional Photographers of America. You want to check them out and I'll talk about them a little bit later on in this tutorial. So tip number one, we're going to make our colors pop by using black and white. So we're going to go down to the adjustments and we're going to choose the black and white adjustment. Now, normally, this is used to adjust the blacks and whites in the image. Notice as I move the reds, the reds get brighter or darker. But we don't have to use this on a black and white image. If we go under normal, this is the blending mode, and we change this to luminosity, now this is going to affect only the darkness and it's not going to affect the colors. Now watch where the reds are. See how I can make those oranges brighter or darker? We can change the color of those greens, make these yellows really pop. And of course the blues are working very well on the purples, on the lavender there, but it also works incredibly well on skies. And we can use the magentas. So if we look at this before and after, notice how we can radically change the way those colors look by doing black and white. Tip number two for those people who work with panoramas. File, automate, photo merge. Find the photos we want to work with. Click open. Keep them on auto. The challenge working with panoramas is we get all this transparent areas around here and that means we have to crop into the photo and we're going to lose some sky and we're going to lose some different things. However, if we turn on content aware fill transparent areas and then click OK, Photoshop will not only build the panorama, now it'll do content aware fill automatically. And look at that. Cleaned up all those edges just like magic. Right before we quickly jump into the next tip, I want to tell you guys about PPA. That's the Professional Photographers of America. They've been around for over 150 years. They're founded by photographers and they're run by photographers today. You might want to join me in becoming a member. I've got a link underneath where you can save $25 on your membership right now. So there's a lot of benefits in joining PPA. And some of those are $15,000 worth of equipment, camera gear insurance, discounted data recovery, over 1,100 hours of training and education. Discounts from some of your favorite vendors such as B&H, Apple, Dell. But most importantly, you're going to get community and a helping hand in your business where you can get advice, but there's also downloads for different forms, model releases, property releases. You can get certification, degrees. There's competitions, including the Photographic World Cup. And of course, PPA run one of the world's largest photographic trade shows, Imaging USA, which I've been to many times. And with your membership, you get your first year at Imaging USA absolutely free. So consider checking out those links underneath, and I think it's a resource that will help you grow in your photography and your business. Let's load a selection. Choose Select Subject. Now we want to go through and we want to refine this hair. So do you ever miss the old refine edge? So instead of hitting select a mask, choose select. And then we would go down to where select a mask is. But this time hold down the shift key. You won't see anything because it's invisible. But if we click, boom, there's the old refine edge. With the old edge detection. And some people still prefer this tool. So then you select a mask for selecting the hair. Tip number four has to do with camera raw. So when we go to filter camera raw and we do a lot of our image editing, this is not the tip, but here is a tip. This is a great place to do your adjustments to your photographs because you can really 
just get a lot more out of this than you can out of a lot of the adjustment layers. All right, so here we are making some quick adjustments here. Now, if you want to reset this, we just go up under the basic panel here and we can see that module. If I hold down the Alt or the Option key, it turns into Reset. And if I click there, it will zero out all those sliders. But believe it or not, there's an even faster way to do it where you don't have to put a hand on the keyboard. All we need to do is hit Auto and then hit it a second time and it zeroes everything out. So there we go, just hit Auto twice resets everything to how it was when you imported it. All right, tip number five, and this is a doozy. I don't know if you knew that we can do video in Photoshop, but we can do that and much more. So we just choose File Open, grab a video file, and then just click Open. And then the video will open right here inside of Photoshop. So something I bet you didn't know is we can do our color correction inside of Camera Raw on video. The key is right click next to the name and choose convert to smart object. Now that it's a smart object, we can move to the frame that we want to view. Then we just simply go into filter, camera raw filter. And here we are in camera raw. Just make all your usual corrections. Click OK. And now hit the space bar and watch the video playback with all the adjustments from Camera Raw. All right, now a little bonus because people are going to ask, how do we export the video? We're just going to choose File, Export, Render Video, give it a destination, choose a preset, click Render. So those are five tips inside of Photoshop. I'm curious how many of these were new to you? Let me know in the comments underneath and also let me know which one was your favorite. And by the way, if you guys are new here, welcome to Photoshop Cafe. Consider hitting that subscribe button right now and turn on all the notifications and you'll get a new video from me every single week. So anyway, if you like this, smash the like button into dust. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.